welcome to our uh, marine knowledge channel so this is uh, also a continuation of uh, Daihatsu generator decal series and uh, this video I will try to give you some information about uh, how to take how to adjust tapper clearance in Daihatsu generator so this will be the last stage for this Daihatsu generator video almost we are done with uh, all the jobs so once this is done then uh, we are we can go for uh, doing tryout of the engine so okay we'll go and check the video so before uh, starting to do uh, tapper clearance you have to bring the unit to TDC whichever unit you want to take the tapper you have to bring that unit to TDC so now I turn the turning gear and brought two units to TDC that is one and six so how you ensure that particular in unit is in firing order so there are two methods one you can see the camshaft this is your fuel cam and you can see the peak is down that means this is not going to fire so that means number one unit this is the number one unit that number one unit is not in firing order so I open the number six unit and in this unit you can see the fuel cam peak is near the roller that means this unit is going to fire so this unit is the one that you need to do the firing that means that means you need to do the tapper clearance so you can see three cams in this camshaft one is for inlet one is for outlet means the exhaust and the other one is for fuel cam so this is one method of finding the unit which is about to fire so number one unit I showed you the fuel cam is the peak of that particular fuel cam is downwards that means it is not going to fire and for this number six unit you can see the cam is near the roller near the roller. you can see that is a fuel pump roller and you can see the cam position is near the roller that means it is going to give the fuel for injection so okay so next thing is oh okay that's all so this is one method of uh, to find how the which unit is going to fire okay so the other method next method how to find the firing unit so again the same thing number one and six unit is in TDC and what I going to do is you can see the roller uh, rocker amp should uh, turn freely like uh, like how I am turning it should turn freely that means that unit is in firing order and I go to number one and I try to turn the rocker amp it cannot turn that means this unit is not a firing unit so now I have to do the tap out for number six unit for doing the tap out you have to do the zero setting first so before doing the zero setting what you need to do is you have to loosen all rocker and lock nuts so rocker and lock nuts should be loosened at the same time yoke lock nut should also be loosened so I'm lo loosening the yoke uh, nuts okay so total four nuts and four screws you have to loosen okay I am loosening it okay total four numbers okay so once that is done we have to use dial indicator to set the zero position so what we need to do is we need to have a dial gauge along with a magnetic base so this dial gauge pointer should point in center of the yoke so I'm going to do the point setting so you can see the rocker arm should not touch the yoke the rocker arm should be always on top like it should be in open position you can see the open position now you have to set the dial indicator so once the dial indicator is in place you have to do the zero setting for the dial indicator like how I'm doing the zero setting so now the dial is in zero okay so now what you need to do is you have to slowly 
turn the yoke screw clockwise so do it very slowly so that the idea to turn is when the screw touches the valve that means your yoke will tends to rise up so that position will be a will indicate in the dial gator dial indicator in a positive reading so now i'm going to turn yeah you can see that means the screw already at the valve that is the reason the yoke tends to move up which gives the positive reading in dial indicator so what you need to do is you can have the positive reading until point plus four so if it is plus four it is okay so now what you need to do is you have to hold the screw and tighten the lock nut always ensure you are not disturbing the screw while you are tightening the lock nut if not you may lose the zero setting so you hold the screw with the one spanner and tighten with the other spanner okay do the same pressure for the next yoke so now we need to do the tappet setting so what we need to do is the tappet setting is a gap between rocker arm and the yoke so now i am going to use the feeler gauge for this kind of engine both the tappet are same so what you need to do is initially you loosen the uh, screw and keep tappet in between rocker arm and yoke so once it is done you can slowly turn the rocker arm nut rocker arm screw so that you can feel the feeler gauge going very very well like uh, yeah so mean that you should not allow the feeler gauge to go and come and out very freely so it should go but it should not go very freely that is the idea of uh, keeping the clearance so once that is done you have to hold the screw and tighten the lock nut so do the same procedure for the next rocker arm also next thing also okay i check one more time this is uh, 0.6 so you can see here yeah, it is not going freely but it is still going so the tappet is set for yeah that's all the tap is it for one then i'm going to do the do the same procedure for the exhaust uh, rocker arm also so next thing what i need to do is uh, once you tighten you have to take a bigger feeler gate like 0.6 is about to can go and 0.7 cannot go that means you have to check whether our tap at clearance is correctly set or not that means 0.6 feeler gate should go between the rocker arm and yoke and 0.7 should not go so right this is this can go and 0.7 cannot go so that's all so i'm going to do that you can see yeah i'm already we had set for 0.6 now i'm trying to fit 0.7 in it you can see this 0.7 feeler gauge don't go inside it don't go inside okay that means you are a tapper setting is right okay so once uh, tappet is done on the setting is done then you have to tighten the rocker arm lock nut and yoke lock nut with the help of torque tightening always you can uh, take the torque tightening uh, value from manual always follow that manual always use that torque tightening procedure like uh, i'm doing now so first i do for the yoke and do the tightening for the yoke lock nut and then i do the tightening for rocker arm lock nut so rocker arm lock nut have a special tool for holding the nut so as i always say do not miss any special tools because it is always very hard to find special tools when it is lost so this is one special tool for locking uh, tightening the rocker arm lock nut so okay again uh, use a specific uh, torque value which is advised by the man manual make makers manual okay so okay almost we are done so this is how we need to check 
and adjust tappet procedure we are done with uh, tappet procedure setting okay tightening with the help of uh, torque yeah done for one nut and do the same for the other nut okay finish so we are done with the tightening of all four uh, nuts two nuts for yoke and two nuts for locker okay we are done so after watching this uh, video you must have got some idea about uh, how to take how to adjust uh, tapper clearance hope uh, this daihatsu video series must have given you some information about uh, daihatsu t cap so almost we are done almost we are done with all the jobs regarding uh, d carb so one final video will be there for uh, this d carb session that is uh, what all things that we need to check how to do a running in for a generator thanks for watching keep supporting thank you all